I am done. I am unsubscribing from everything. All right, I'm gonna try to make this one short and sweet. I believe that preferences reflect both our choices and our behavior. Your choice to watch a particular TV show or Netflix series or read a specific book or YouTube video will probably change your behavior in a particular way. Either you're talking about big changes or nano changes, small changes. The way you see the world is going to be different with each piece of content you're adding in on a daily basis. And this is a good thing. This is how you evolve. This is how you improve. <sighs> but sometimes this can make it really hard for you to discover who you really are without these influences, without these daily inputs. I do understand that who you are is a complex mix of micro inputs. And we start receiving these inputs the day we are born and then these only stop theoretically only when we die. We are constantly allowing in the world and we are also absorbing the world in the same time. As an example, let's say you see a small blended bird on a grass and your decision to intervene or not will change who you are would change a tiny fraction of you. And I believe that in the same fashion, this happens in the digital world as well. Your Netflix feed can tell me a lot about yourself. It is not a rule, but it can help. And I remember reading this article in 2018 and there was a statement about <laughs> Netflix having 30 plus million versions as each feed is inherently different. If I'm watching comedy TV shows during the weekend and crime TV shows during the week, my Netflix feed will essentially be a mix between comedy and crime. And of course, it's not that simple because you have various kinds of comedy and various kinds of crime. And if you say add in some drama, you can change everything. And your preferences and my preferences will get on the record and we will get recommendations based on our initial choice. And these, of course, will morph and will evolve into something else as we diversify our palettes. So here's my idea. I do spend quite some time in the digital space and I believe that we all do. And I'm going very basic here. If you have a phone, you are in a digital space as well. If your phone has internet connection, that's even worse. And of course, I'm kidding. But what I'm trying to say is that we are all in the same pit and I do appreciate the company. And what I'm trying right now is a digital reset. And no, this is not a digital detox. I'm not ditching the internet. I'm just resetting it. I view this as a sort of a digital clean slate. And although I'm not gonna be 100% accurate in doing this, what I wanna do, I wanna tackle the main sources of input that I find distractive and also sort of intervene and get in the way of me knowing and learning who am I. So my aim is to have a fresh email inbox, fresh YouTube feed, and also a fresh Netflix feed. Although I haven't been watching that much Netflix lately, but I wanna see how that evolves as well. So hopefully I'm gonna have a clean browsing history, no targeted recommendations coming through my feed. And in theory, I will be free to choose whatever I wanna to choose to consume, in theory. And I know that I'm still going to have to face the stuff that's trending and big tech is going to try to shove that in my face. And that if you wanna go philosophical on this one, you can start asking questions like, are we really free? But if you go on this path, the discussion is not going to end. So I chose to do what I can do with what I have where I am, and I still think that this is going to be a cool exercise. And I also think that this is going to be different for everyone and it's just like highly dependent on the stuff you already have embedded within yourself. So once you have to face a fresh feed and you won't want to click on anything, you will probably start searching for something you already know interests you. And then it can be about reflecting whether or not you are really interested in that particular topic. And by the way, this type of reset can work in your personal life as well. But that is a topic for another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.